κάποια καράβια που την έχω στήσει. Και πιο κάτω. Στη βουλιαγμένη και βλέπουμε κάποια καράβια που την έχουν στήσει. Και πιο κάτω. Φιλάνε τους εκλεκτούς της Λέσχης. Ναι, αυτή που βλέπουμε είναι του λιμενικού. Μάλιστα. Εδώ είμαστε πολύ τυχεροί γιατί βρήκαμε τον κύριο Τάικερ ο οποίος ήρθε από το Τέξας για να αντιδράσει για το θέμα της Λέσχης Bilderberg και δυστυχώς δεν βρήκαμε κανέναν Έλληνα πολύ, πολύ ελαχίστους οι οποίοι ήταν ενημερωμένοι και θέλανε ευαισθητοποιημένοι να έρθουν να δουν τι γίνεται με τη Λέσχη Bilderberg Τώρα θα ρωτήσουμε τον κύριο Τάικερ να μας πει για ποιο λόγο ήρθε η Λέσχη Bilderberg εδώ κάτω το ξενοδοχείο που είναι, για να κάθουμε κάτω στι 7 το βράδυ. Εγώ πιστεύω ότι. Να έρθουμε 7 η ώρα το βράδυ. Οκ. Ποιο είναι το ξενοδοχείο, 7 η ώρα το βράδυ να πάμε στο ξενοδοχείο. Οκ, εντάξει. There's a restaurant called the Lava Heap. You go down to Boen. The restaurant is situated. The Lava Heap. 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 But you, uh, you see uh, that restaurant, listen. Λοιπόν, στην ταινία θα είμαστε και εμείς μέσα, ξέρετε. Ναι. Κοιτάξτε το, το θάρρος και τη δύναμη και την ανδρία ενός ανθρώπου ο οποίος είναι υπερήληξ και όμως αγωνίζεται και τρέχει να ενημερώσει τον κόσμο γιατί ετοιμάζουν αυτά τα φίδια, οι οχές, οι έχιδνες, οι σιωνιστές, οι εβραίοι ταλμουδιστές, οι Bilderberg για να διαλύσουν τον πλανήτη και να τον εσφραγίσουμε το 666. Και εμείς κοιμόμαστε στην πατρίδα μας μέσα και ήρθε ο γυραιός αυτός άνθρωπος για να δώσει τα διαπιστευτήριά του. Συγχαρητήρια για μας τους Έλληνες. Τι ώρα είναι παιδιά τώρα, η ώρα είναι μία. Η ώρα είναι δωδεκάμιση και περιμένουμε ακόμα. Ήδη πριν μισή ώρα πέρασε ένα αυτοκίνητο, μάλλον ενό Έλληνα, ο οποίος θα συμμετάσχει στην Bilderberg. Και με πολύ μεγάλη ταχύτητα δεν προλάβαμε να το τραβήξουμε. Να εδώ σταμάτησε ένα τη security. Εντάξει, μωρά, αυτή είναι. Τέλος πάντων, τι να τους κάνουμε. Τα πρόσωπα που περνάμε, τους έχουμε. Πρόσωπα, έτσι, έτσι, έτσι. Άμα πούνε όχι, είναι τα πάρια. Πού είναι ο Βασίλης, ρε παιδιά. Θα δεις πολλά πράγματα, θα δεις ο Βασίλης. Τι θα φτιάξεις. Αυτά τα καημένα τα πουλάκια άραγε μετά τη συγκέντρωση που ετοιμάζουν αυτοί οι σατανιστές θα ζήσουνε ναι. Θα τα πουλούν άλλοι Καμιά γάτα ας πούμε Καμιά γατούλα που μπορεί να περιμένει εκεί πέρα Το πιο ωραίο πράγμα που είδαμε εδώ Εκτός... Ήταν αυτά εδώ τα πουλάκια που κελαϊδούσαν το πρωί. Να, και αυτό τώρα μυρίζει το ψωμί σου. Είναι μια μεγάλη αντίθεση. 
KKF Oh iya tuh Κάποιοι άλλοι εδώ δίπλα συνεδριάζουν για την καταστροφή μας Bilderberg Group Και κάποιοι άλλοι κάνουν ανέμελα το μπάνιο τους και απολαμβάνουν τον καλοκαιρινό ήλιο Τώρα παιδιά τι ώρα είναι, πέντε? Πέντε Τώρα είναι πέντε η ώρα, ετοιμαζόμαστε να πάμε στο ραντεβού με τον κύριο Jim Tucker Και ο φίλος μας ο Βασίλης ο οποίος ξέρει καλά αγγλικά Α, Τάκερ, συγγνώμη Βασίλη μου, δεν ξέρω πολύ καλά αμερικάνικα Ετοιμάζει τις ερωτήσεις για το Mr. Πώς τον είπαμε? Mr. Tucker Οκ, yes Sam Tucker Ποιες θα είναι οι Οι ερωτήσεις που θα κάνουμε στο Jim Tucker Τι φάλα το Τι λέω εγώ, βέβαια μπάνιο δεν έκανα εκεί Γιατί είναι τα νερά βαθιά ήταν Λέω, μια φορά λέω δεν, δεν κάνω ένα... Είναι βαμπύρια. Ναι, είναι, είναι μακριά και ξαφνικά ο μέρος κάνω... Έλα, έλα. Τι. Για πεις κανένα άλλο. Να σου πω, άμα δεις το ανύπνος, ότι υπερπατάς είναι καλό. Ε, πολύ έχουμε δει, πετάμε. Υπερπατάς απάνω στη θάλασσα. Ε, δεν ξέρω τι. Είναι, είναι έξι και και ο φίλος μας ο Μπιλ απολαμβάνει τον απογευματινό ήλιο και περιμένει να δει την εξέλιξη με τις σοχές. So, do you mind if those people are just going to film that too? Yeah, right. Okay. So, as we were saying, because a lot of people didn't hear, so why do you think there is there's on the table that they can attack on Pakistan, or they took it back? They they discussing this since last year, and now they they didn't do it. Brzezinski talking about attacking Pakistan, so what do you think is going to happen? Why we didn't witness any attack in Pakistan? I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. It's not, I've been so far a heavy <coughs> agenda. The uh, uh, potential Israeli invasion of, uh, of Iran Israel's had nuclear weapons since the early 1960s, and for the first time in all these years, the United States government acknowledged that Israel has nuclear weapons. So it can get kind of inflammatory if Israel. Can I ask one question about the economy? Sure. Um, well, we see right now that they're tanking the economy, and this is obviously about design. Um, the question that many people have on their minds, though, is whether this is going to be a long, drawn-out depression, or whether what many economists, like the professor at New York University, said, where the stock market will crash, like the Weimar Republic. Frightening, but they believe that uh, the people from the United States and Europe can be scared into accepting the International Monetary Fund evolving into the uh, uh, National, I mean the Bobo Department of Treasury under the United Nations. In fact, uh, Bill's going to be addressing that very issue. I think uh, tomorrow, and uh, they also want the World Health Organization to evolve into uh, a UN-sponsored global Department of Health. The swine flu fraud failed uh, simply because it was, they were too stupid to try to. Well, for example, the United States they're screaming about swine flu. Uh, we need uh, to 
attack it globally with, with the global Department of Health under the U.S. Well, the facts fall up with them. 300,000 Americans on average get, get a flu, uh, get the flu every year. On average, 30,000 Americans die of flu. So they pick out a strain of flu, they call it swine flu, try to scare the drawers off of everybody. And how many have died of swine flu? Well, of course, one is too many, but that's but it's a very small number. So that will utterly fail. So uh, Bill is going to go back to one of their old uh, familiar things. It goes back to the 90s. Global warming. The sky is falling, says chicken oil, and now warm. Uh, and so now we're going to need a global department of health because of global warming. Since the swine flu, not as it's failed. That's what uh, Carl Bill is going to be talking about. I think it's Friday morning. It might be Friday afternoon. There's, now that you brought up swine flu, there's a lot of noise, if you can call it that, about various flu attacks. For example, what happened a few months ago with Baxter Pharmaceutical in, uh, I, I don't know what country, I think in Switzerland, where they had supposedly accidentally uh, combined the avian flu with the common flu, to the common flu vaccine, and they had shipped it out. Um, do you believe that uh, bio-release of a avian flu type uh, virus could be a precursor to the economic collapse? Or to kind of bring in martial law and the new world order, as they say? Well, they'll try to exploit anything, but when you think about the swine flu nonsense this year, I can't help but think about the year, I think it's 1976, when some kind of a flu, I forgot what they called it, is just going to wipe us all out if we don't do something. So the government came up with a vaccine. Everybody get a vaccine. But then some authoritative people said, don't do it, it could hurt you. Uh, I never took it. But then it's established the president's first report. Several people died from that flu vaccine. A uh, large number were paralyzed in wheelchairs, uh, paralyzed from legs down, some paralyzed from the neck down because they panicked and took the flu recommended by the government. The flu uh, vaccine recommended by the government gave them, gave them the flu. Worse than if they call it in the cocktail party. That was a period. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me ask me once my my other So, um, uh, what do you think that? Why do you think that uh, people are not familiar with the Bilderberg Group in uh, in Europe so much, like in the States? Well, as I may have mentioned before, in the United States, the blackout is very effective because uh, high officials in Washington Post. New York Times, LA Times, and of all the broadcast networks have attended Bilderberg on their solid promise to re reveal nothing. Now, the uh, Washington Post publishers have attended since uh, they started calling themselves Bilderberg in 1954. Old Phil Graham, then he shot himself in his uh, his wife, uh, came out of the kitchen, became publisher, then she started attending his, in his stead. And then, that, uh, then before she died, and since she died, her little boy, Donald Graham, uh, became the top officer in Washington Post. And he attends every year with their associate editor, a character named Jimmy Lee Hoagland. And they keep their promise of absolute secrecy. So in the United States, uh, in the, in the place, well, last year at Chantilly, of independent family owned local newspapers, small venues, most of them, and uh, independent broadcast outlets attended. They got a great deal of unwanted publicity. But nevertheless, uh, in Europe, the coverage has always uh, been much heavier. They don't have that control. I mean, over the years, major newspapers, I mean, broadsheets from London and Paris, uh, other major cities in Europe, have given Bilderberg heavy attention. They show it. A lot of photos on page one, detailed stories raising the right questions as to why they have to, why are they getting behind 
Locked and guarded doors. How are they? People need for secrecy. The good works are done in the sunshine. Evil is done in the cover of darkness. Yeah, they do evil. see any new 9-11s uh, during the end of the year or next year uh, in order to uh, bring martial law or to establish uh, the new world order that they are trying for years now? We may have another 9-11 whether we want to or not. Uh, the terrorists vowed that they'd be working it out in shifts. Uh, there's been a couple of known cases where uh, an attack on Los Angeles was stopped. They try to keep, for obvious reasons, they try to keep all this secret so the terrorists do not know. But uh, when three airplanes uh, turned back to Heathrow Airport, and they uh, told them plane to uh, grab some people off and find explosives, well, the materials in different bags where you can make an explosive, just each of you come to the bathroom, same bathroom, and to at least on the shopping. So we know that the, the, the attack on Los Angeles is fall and another one on Chicago. That's only what was uh, emerged in the press because there's no way to cover up. Making two planes turn around, jerking people off the plane and charging these terrorists. So now love it could happen any time. And uh, Obama is a very weak president. I'm not sure that he was being quite as intimidating as W would be. Uh, on these issues. What do you make of the uh, now mainstream recognition of the New World Order? Uh, especially at G20, we saw the mentioning of the term New World Order numerous times, and it seems like they're now publicly, un publicly unveiling this. Yep, first uttered by President Bush number 41 uh, after the Bilderberg meeting. Oh Lord, that was about 19, 90, 1990, I think. Sorry, to introduce the term New World Order. But uh, young Americans are quite aware of it, as we saw last year at the Chantilly, meeting, Chantilly Virginia, not uh, England. Uh, there is a, a, a large number of young people, many wear Ron Paul caps, who are uh, out <laughs> protesting the very secrecy and its uh, plans for world government. So, <laughs> so there's, uh, that's our great soap, I think, it's the rising generation, their awareness, their willingness to deal with it, to fight for their nation, the sovereignty of their nation. <laughs> But a large, a large segment of society, I, I've noticed this in Europe at least, uh, because UN is looked upon as kind of like the savior and America is the bad guy, where they think that unity is a good thing. You know, what's, what's the problem? We can all work together. Open borders. Open borders. <laughs> Just collaboration. If you work together, things get done better, more efficiently. Yeah, this, is, this is the predominant train of thought here in Europe from what I've seen. Whereas well, in America, you have the, your YouTube generation, and plus you guys had 9-11 as well to fall back on and to remind you of how real this new world order really is. Whereas here, we don't really have an anchor like that to fall back on, at least our generation, the young generation. Well, President Obama sees himself as a citizen of the world, uh, and like his pastor, first of all, you'll teach the mother continent of Africa. I'm not a citizen of the world, I'm a citizen of the United States and a fierce patriot. I would not surrender one bit of sovereignty. In fact, that was why uh, Lady Thatcher, when she was Prime Minister of uh, the United Kingdom, was thrown out by Bilderberg because she attended one meeting, didn't like it, and didn't have anything to say, and refused to surrender the pound for the euro. And so Bilderberg, as we reported at the time, said she's got to be eliminated as the Prime Minister, not killed, but just taken out of office. She was first replaced by, I think, by a trapeze artist named John Major from her own party. I had the pleasure of talking to her briefly. 
And that came up in Washington at a reception about a year later. And I asked her reaction. And she said, put it directly in time, this is a rough paraphrase. But, uh, she used the word tribute. She said, I consider it a tribute to be from the Bill of Mary. It was uh, harshly critical of any head of state who surrendered any degree of sovereignty to the international institutions. She's felt very strongly about that. Well, she doesn't regularly have a lot to cover. Are they now preparing the introduction of the AMRO uh, currency in the United States and uh, in Canada and New Mexico? Well, uh, they thought they were going to. They're falling far behind on that one. They were confident by the year 2000, NAFTA would have spread all over uh, the Western Hemisphere, creating the American Union, similar to the European Union. And those kids are very disappointed because the year 2000 came, that was nine years ago, and we're still the United States. They do have their uh, NAFTA uh, transferring between Canada and Mexico and the United States. They should have been submitted to the Senate for ratification, which would fail. They said they call, it, they call it a treaty and agreement. So now we've agreed to eliminate borders between Mexico and the United States and Canada. Uh, well, there's a lot of resistance anyway to the program that funds to build the superhighway that would run from uh, our border with Mexico all the way to New Canada somewhere. So there's been a lot of resistance. And the Bilderberg boys are grumpy old men because they're far behind on their effort to take over the world. Most of them nationalists, they say with anger, are stopping their progress. Well, I sure as hell hope so. Well, thank you, Joseph. It's been a pleasure talking to you. One last question, Mr. Tucker. Uh, well, please. Ah, you'll be, you'll be uh, you're going to be here for the next three days, and you're covering Bilderberg since I don't know how many years, but a lot of years. Yeah. So uh, forty, forty years. And uh, why do you have have they ever tried to silence you or to stop you from doing this? Uh, have you ever get a well, threat? The Italian police picked me up and held me for uh, a couple of hours. Uh, they didn't put me in a cell. At that time, it was somewhere in Italy, and uh, I got into the Bilderberg Hotel about a Tuesday night or Monday night, uh, in the field for the place, sitting at the bar, working on sources. And just being the angel of apposition, something important must be going on here. They're all filled up for the weekend. They said I couldn't go rest of Yeah, I think you can have something going on since part of as I walk out, the cops say, we need to talk to you. I say, Bob, I've got a cab coming. Well, that's okay, don't worry about the cab. They put me in the car. It took me about 30 miles, place, little police station, it's a big one. And the commander wanted to talk to me. And he said, well, why are you here? And I said, you know damn well, Bob, I'm here. Uh, I'm here because the Bilderberg's meeting here. Your job is holding a secret meeting, my job is to it my secret. This goes on for a while. He says, do you have any uh, credentials? Well, in the United States, we have a thing called the First Amendment. Anybody who says he's a journalist is a journalist, even, even if he's an illiterate Democrat. Uh, but we don't have to have the license. For so here's my credentials, DC cop credentials. So this young girl who can speak fluent English read to them in uh, Italian. They said, well, don't ask me anymore. Drove me back to the hotel. And every night, as the reporters were gathered in the bar to have a compared to the as we are now, I look in the mirror behind the bar and see in the lobby uh, these grumpy looking guys in uh, suit and ties sitting in the lobby, not having a drink or anything, just sitting silently staring. And uh, I said, are those guys regulars? And the bartender said, no, I think they're cops we here for some reason. So I walked out and said, uh, hey officers, if you want to know anything about what's going to the Bilderberg, just come in the bar with us. We're talking all about what's happening. Oh, we don't know them. We, we just come here a lot to relax. 
said, no, you're not, you're, just, you're not rigorous here at all. I bet that's about that. But you don't have to, he's so uptight, you can come out in the park, you won't tell him all about those friends. No, no, they're there with their uh, solid looking faces every night. <laughs> I hope they well, my presence didn't call some young girl to get raped for lack of protection on the streets. How <coughs> much? Okay, thanks. Yeah, you have uh you have a shut down the do the Bilderbergs have anything to do with the One World religion uh, makeup? The One World religion. Do the Bilderbergers also have <coughs> anything to do with this? Well, or is most, that another? most of them are atheists. <laughs> well, this is why they want to create the, the major atheistic religion. <laughs> so I'm not aware if they're undertaking any religious campaigns or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, David Rockefeller still calls himself a Baptist. Of course, like Bush, <clears throat> go to church every day and praise Jesus. Yeah. Um, while we're on the subject, um, did you know if there was present the Mentrea? Because in 1993, the Mentrea was here. Do you know who this is? A spiritual counselor for the for the Antichrist. <laughs> uh, didn't know. So you don't know if he's here also with them. You don't know that. Huh? I'm a little bit deaf. You have to yell. <clears throat> and I'm a little bit weak. Okay. Yeah. You, you you do know what the word Mentrea means? No. It's it's like a, a, sp a spiritual leader. He's like a like a priest of the Antichrist. Uh huh. A major one who is uniting all the uh, atheist religions, you know, together. And we're we're wondering if he was here. So you say you don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, the atheists are very uh, hard charging group. Somehow I don't see how it bother, bothers the hell out of the goddamn atheists that other people have faith. Yeah. I've well, known some atheists mm -hmm. who just outrageous. Somebody have faith in God. Oh. Uh, why does it hurt you? Why are your knickers yes. and not to call somebody else? Mm. Uh, that's why uh, uh, like they're having things. all these lawsuits, uh, yeah. <coughs> taking the God we trust off the coins, yeah. don't have the Ten Commandments, don't display at the courthouse yeah. and all that kind of thing. Yeah. In, in short, they're Satanists, so it doesn't make a difference. That's, yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I didn't want to inter interfere so, um, the interview. Do you have any, uh, on the counter-revolution in America, we hear that uh, many states have gone against the plastic cards money. Yeah, uh, the national ID card. Yeah. Well, one thing that Smart cards and such. Uh, the trying to push it here. do in passing that Real ID Act, but say uh, each state will have the social security numbers, all this stuff on each driver's license card. Well, first of all, uh, un, 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 un demand. There's no way constitutionally yeah, Congress can say to the state, you got to pay this money for something we won't done. Mm -hmm. You give us some money if you want done. Certainly, who, who the hell wants a national ID card? Yeah. Well, we can have an immigration <laughs> problem no. by simply uh, defending our borders instead of having troops spend 130 countries around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, Put them on the border with Mexico and uh, stop them. Uh, we just enforce the laws that we have. There's these uh, sanctuary cities like San Francisco and others who say, we're not going to uh, bother these darling little undocumented euphemism now. The illegal immigrant is now an undocumented immigrant. Mm -hmm. Well, liberals that way, they, they will call homosexual uh, gay. Yes. Well, that's the yes. difference. Uh, according to dictionary definition, if somebody is gay, he's a cheerful, sunshine disposition. Yeah. And so some of them are say, well, I think we'll be called gay or not. Well, all it does to uh, history. Historians in the future will read that President Harry Truman 
was gay. He was telling jokes and laughing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Understandable. He was definitely not homosexual. There's some things wrong with him. He's a Democrat, for one thing. Uh, he is uh, definitely a uh, normal boy, zero risk of AIDS if he's alive today. Uh, he was gay. Okay, another question. Does, does everyone have a, a personal number for all of his life? Like the Social Security number? Uh, the driver's license number. Uh, it, well, using this instead of their they, name. In other words, their name will be useless, and they'll just be using numbers to identify people. Is this going on there too? Like, no, there's a trend over here. Some, usually, even during the regular years, when the lives are full, your wife is doing long term no, sir. No, no, no. And the Republican Party leader, Robert Dole, who was elected from her native South Carolina for one term, said got defeated. This last election, well, she was Wiggins' Secretary of Transportation, and uh, I asked her uh, reception. She had this wonderful idea: if uh, they could get all these driver's licenses on computers, for uh, a good reason, a big rig truck driver may have a license in seven states. If he's speeding long in the reckless way and kills somebody. It loses its license mm. in one state. It's still about six more to go. Mm. Uh, so, if uh, the guy at the motor vehicle's place could punch a keyboard button and find out this guy applied for a license in this state, is uh, killed somebody in another state. No, you can't have a driver's license. You're a reckless driver. Well, that's good. And then I asked her, uh, they were talking about having uh, also for a good reason uh, a number. So that if you're hit by a car and you're not able to communicate to the hospital, they could uh, punch the computer and find out uh, that you're on these medications for this reason. That could affect life saving treatment. Very good reason. But then I asked this goal of uh, those two merge so that they all get one computer so they could find out that uh, not only was he a bad guy, but he has Alzheimer's disease. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, uh, just walked around uh, for a few minutes, came back and asked the same question as if I'd never asked it before because I don't want anybody to say, I was taking it out of context. So uh, she gave the same answer. And that's why it started to trouble me. Uh, if you keep it separate, well, originally the Social Security number was privileged. 1935, a bank could uh, not demand your Social Security number to open an account. No. It was only to keep, the number was only to keep your own social security uh, 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 funds in place. Then over the years, Congress expanded it. And one of the things the Republicans did after they uh, won control of the House in 1994, back when they were leaders, the Republicans was passed a law saying, that's gone. Uh, the social security number does not have to be shown for any purpose other than uh, yeah. That is affecting Social Security. Supposedly. So I was opening an account uh, a few years later, a new account in another bank, and they asked my Social Security number. Said, no, just I signed you a unique number for my account. No, we can't do it. No, ma'am. Uh, you cannot refuse to open an account for me because I don't give you my driver's license and my social security number. Mm -hmm. Oh, Virginia took the social security number it's off driver's licenses once that law was passed automatically. And they said they need driver's license, social security number often, another number on it. Uh, but back when states like Massachusetts, Massachusetts is a state that used to burn witches down the event of this. In the camera later. Yeah. I was, um, it, it's believed that in the plastic cards, they have your number with a hair chip. And this is all the American citizens who have cars. No, I think that is uh, so Walmart. And uh, all for a big marketing reason. You buy a pair of underdoors at Walmart, you sign that little chip in. They know everywhere that, uh, yeah, where, you uh, go. Uh, where those underdoors went. If you're in them, they know where you go, you've been to. So they know that you go to this warehouse on Tuesday, every Tuesday night, yeah. you go to this bar every Wednesday night. Yeah. And uh, okay. you make love to your wife or someone else's wife on Thursday night. R RFID chip. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, the uh, extremely small 
and but they put when uh, when, uh, Ra they when Rothschild came here, put him he, in he, and, uh, he he came to realize that the great people all have our our ID, 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 skin. ID of course. with smart cards, uh -huh. and now when when we are going to use the bus or the train in the city, everybody has to have cards in the short future. In other words, in the coming months, they're going to try to take the money away from the great people and give them smart cards against the law, of course. Everything they're doing to us is against the law. Do they have this also in America? Not yet. Have you heard of such thing? Uh, not much. I've heard some speculation on it, but not, not much. I don't think they can do it in the United States. They have all now, but people need to be aware of the law. Because if you don't read newspapers, and too many people don't, you would not know that the Republicans changed that law and you do not have to give a social security number to anybody for any purpose other than your social security number. Yeah. Uh, are, there, are, are, are there any people who are refusing all this new age barcode system uh, with IDs and chips? The people who refuse them, do they have uh, concentration camps re ready for these people? As Tex Marx explains to us? Well, there's some unexplained concentration camps being built, built out west. Mm -hmm. Top secret military stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's understandable because I don't want the people to know anything. Mm. And like you said, with the the guys before us, uh, you, you believe that they're here to explain where they're going to hit next to finish up or, or heighten the war in the East. The Bilderbergers have, have to do with this. This is 1918, I believe, given planning world wars. Uh, yes, Woodrow Wilson elected on the peace pact for his peace candidate. Yeah. And then we send a heavily loaded ship in violation for our neutrality yeah. act to Britain. They had some uh, passengers on the ship that's covered. They also had jeeps and tanks in the early uh, World War One style airplanes. So. They got the high seas and what the Germans do, of course, they, they sink the ship. I was carrying more materials to the enemy. So now, uh, they sunk our ship back to the end of the war. December 1941. Uh, back in Roosevelt, was a peace down here. He had advanced knowledge of Pearl Harbor set up. And this is from the friendly biography, it's about well, people who are on the The uh, in early November of 1941, he called the Japanese ambassador into his office, a local office, and told him that we would block in Japan and uh, not be able to import uh, the rice you need to uh, survive or the oil you need to maintain your manufacturing. So, the Japanese take their leave. Uh, it comes from somebody, uh, they're on the count, they're on the diaries, they're all going to write the great book. said, Mr. President, this means more. Roosevelt turned away his mouth and I know, I know. <laughs> then later in November, they seen uh, no sign of Japanese doing anything. It was prearranged. So they said, uh, uh, they wondered if uh, we had to do something. Roosevelt wondered, do we have to do something else to get the Japanese? Uh, through the Japanese. Then they learned, shut up. They love to learn that the Japanese are on the way to Pearl Harbor. Now, Roosevelt apologists uh, will argue that, well, uh, he had let Pearl Harbor happen because his draft pack only passed by one, one vote. The Americans are isolationists. Yeah, that's the uh, And we got to get uh, 
had to get in more. Otherwise, uh, Hitler would dictate peace terms for the White House. Well, a little funny uh, reason there, too. If you accept the apologies notion, well, the commander in chief of this president could have ordered maneuvers on that sunny morning without explaining himself. So the ships on the battleship road would be sped out to sea. The airplanes tied up on the ground beat to meet, so maintenance would be dispersed in the air. If you kill, 20, uh, say, six or 800 American boys instead of 2,800, are there any Americans ready to go to war? Yeah, it was like Vietnam. When we called, we thought it was a surprise attack. We were shot. And they, the, Amer the Americans were on both sides. Um, do, you, do you know the basic reason for this time that the Bilderbergers are here? The basic reason for their being here this time? Oh, uh, they were here in 1993, and they uh, yeah, sometimes go back over a lot of years and say crime scene. So they have to pick a place each year. Typically, it's twice a year and once a year. Yeah. But the reason for the convention you haven't learned yet. It's well, a little bit early. Uh, I don't think the particular sites are important. It's just that they, they pick a nice so the globalization or world control, generally speaking. Because yeah? uh, I see here many things that are that have not happened in America, they're happening here first. Because uh -huh. it's like a, an ancient country and the people have been through hell for 700 years of bondage and they're very tired and they become Americans very quickly, whether they like it or not, brainwashed with the television and all mass media. And um, they're, they're trying to force all this new age stuff on us first. <laughs> Strangely enough. And the people are very uninformed in here in Greece. Very much so in the United States, Greece. Fewer than half of that all Americans read a new, one newspaper. When I was a kid, even the poor families had four families because they read every day everybody. You have to sift out the truth. <laughs> if it's there. For the most formally educated gym, well, the last two generations were the most formally educated. Yeah, it's your question. Oh, that's the front. That's the front. It's like a circus here. It's hard to, it's hard to concentrate. Can't you feel control? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. 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 Did you think you know the relationship with the um, uh, with the with the white brotherhood and of the Shabala with um, with them? The white brotherhood. Of course you've heard of that, you know what it is. I don't remember hearing about it. The White Brotherhood and the Shabala. It's oh the, yeah, I've heard the, of that. The Satanists who are poor behind all the bet where all the presidents go for their information <laughs> on what to do next. The, the Eastern Bloc or religions of such who have a, a deep root in Satanism and are trying to destroy the West. Well, you're here this week to find out whether the White House surely has a, a ranking person here in our State Department, our Secretary of State, Treasury, Defense, always attend, and all the other high officials. So they get their orders. In fact, they seem to carry out dramatically for the Dick Bush's order to break his no new taxes pledge. And, uh, 1991, which he did in violation of a very strong commitment made to televised to make with due Congress that he would not raise taxes. So then he raised taxes. He lost the election. So he attended Bilderberg in 1991 as the obscure governor of Arkansas. And not a year later, he's elected president. Well, they own uh, Big Bush, too. I'm going to try that on commission. 
and he did follow orders to raise taxes. But if you own two horses, those horses are two horse race, you always win. Mm. Yeah. 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 Do you know if the uh, ADL has uh, more more power than any other government uh, organism? That's what we're told once. It's probably the heart of the Bilderberg, I'd say. <laughs> well, they don't seem to have any objections to the Bilderberg boys. Uh, for a lot of us, we all laws. Yes. Our own uh, First Amendment is being infringed about times this year. So called hate crimes, which is an utter absurdity. Of course, it's the age now, of absurdity. Does it matter <laughs> if you uh, love the guy uh, just because you want money, or do you say something mean to him about uh, his race or whatever? Then you can be prosecuted. Well, the, it, all states punish violent crime quite severely. Yeah. There's a case of a few years ago, well, when uh, Little Bush was still running in Texas, three white hoodlums tied an Asian Negro man to the back of a pickup truck. They drug him till he died. And yeah. Yeah, a lot. the federal government would try him under hate crimes laws. Governor Bush said no. We're going to try it in Texas. And uh, they dumped on the bush for that, but uh, those boys are on death row in Texas now. They're scared of dying. They'd much rather uh, be in prison for life than be executed. Mm -hmm. Now, if you've been tried under federal hate crimes laws, the death penalty is not allowed. They'd much rather be tried under the federal hate crime laws in Texas going to Texas. So why it does. Is it finished on the First Amendment to the extent that you can be punished because of what you said? Now, this year they expanded the hate crime law to include uh, sexual orientations, specifically including pedophiles. So, if a pedophile abuses your little girl, okay, you can try to stop him, but don't insult him. Don't hurt his feelings. Yeah. You give him hate crime. Uh, Absurd laws. Uh, Sexual orientation, Negroes, uh, Hispanics, uh, all the minorities except the white boy are protected uh, come under the hate crimes. Mm. Uh, I know, a crime in America is. It, it gives the federal <laughs> government a uh, license to send cops in every neighborhood, as if each town does have its own police force. It's all thought crimes. They're trying to have a, a united police force now in America, I learned. Hmm? Pardon? They, they're, they're trying to have a united police force rather than each state having their own. Well, yes, that's strongly against the Fifth Amendment. Yeah. Well, well like here in Greece, they're, they're, they have broken all the laws. They have, got, they have gotten rid of all of our parliamentary laws. And they've taken away our money in the last president took all the gold from Greece to make sure that we would have European money only yeah. and yeah, no longer drachmas. Um, are they going to discuss uh, yes, uh, this uh, conference? I mean, in the Aegean, uh, the Aegean Sea is full of uh, oil. Are they going to discuss about that? I don't know, no, probably not before it's all over. Yeah, back in 1948, they they, they claimed Crete, Cyprus, and Greece, yeah. a, a part of Israel, and they've been here since. It's a little bit hard because they have to play orthodox sometimes. Αλλά έχουμε. Εντάξει.
Is it fine like that? That's me, and it's the same. Και αστυνομία παρόν. Του φυλάνε σαν αστακή. Το ξενοδοχείο φυλάγεται. Τα φίδια, εδώ φυλάνε τα φίδια. Κατά πάνω συνεχώ οι Builder Burgers από την Ελλάδα και το εξωτερικό. Πώς τη συνέθετο και καθομολόγησε ενώπιον πολλών μαρτύρων της χαρίσματης της